All right, folks, let's go start tying jigs again. I want to apologize for uh, the last video that I posted yesterday. I noticed that my camera was low in, uh, in the chart and he went dead and I figured out just too late when I just post the video, but I just wanted to apologize to you guys. All right, this is the material that I want to use for this crappy jig. So let's go put this away. If you can see here in my vise here, guys, this is 116. This is Mustang circle hooks, flat head with green and black eyes there. It's plain white, uh, nothing special there, but it's a killer jig here. So let's go start tying this beautiful jig, guys. And um, let's give it a shot to this jig here. Now for this jig, I want to use two tendonier. In this case, it's going to be um, charged through scholar thread. So it's gonna keep that jig just a little bit uh, color in the end behind the the neck there. So that's what I choose to use this uh, color here. So let's go take this off here. Okay, first material that I wanna use for this jig is gonna be a uh, blue marabou here. I'll put it right there in front of the camera there. Okay, it says marabou peacock blue. Okay, you can see there. Okay, so I have a piece ready to go here. You just want to take this may here, guys. Okay, but I really don't want it too long either. So I want to bring this here by my trash can here, guys. Cut this off, put it right there behind the head. Right there on top, you just start wrapping. Secure that really well, you just come back to the hook point. I want to stop right there and then come back behind the head here. You see that? I want to wet this material just a little bit. There you go, just a little bit. Now, the second material that I want to use is going to be Marabou white color here. Okay. So I got a piece here ready to go here. So I just want to take a measure here, guys. It's going to be the same like the one I have first there. That should be good right there. So I'm gonna grab this with my left hand side and cut this off, put it on top of the hook shank and make it tight wraps. Just go behind the hook point a little bit. I'm gonna stop right there and then come back again behind the head and leave your thread there. So what do you have here? You have blue and white color there. Pretty much it's gonna match all the materials. Now for the flashing, I want to use this uh, pure color here. This is a new material for me. Uh, it's going to match a little bit uh, the, uh, the body and the tail. So I have three pieces here. Put this on top here. Make it one, two, three wraps. And just bring those uh, crystal flash back. Hold it together. Bring it back to the hook point. And you just come back again behind the head. And you want to do is turn around your bias and just cut some pieces off really short and someone um, a little bit longer. So what this kind of does is going to keep the jig a nice profile on the tail. That should be plenty enough right there. Plenty flash in there. All right. So before I put my chenille, I wanted to keep uh, the jig just a little bit glue into the body. So the material sticks really well and doesn't come apart. All right, just square this really good. All right, put this away. Now for the material, for the body, I want to use this a, um, a Stas Polyscent Art Blue. This is the chenille there. I really like that. I, I've been trying that for so long. It works really nice in the clean water. So this is the materials, the long fibers there. But this material here, guys, flashes a lot in the water. So it's gonna give it a, um, a try this year again, because I know it works fine. So I'm gonna take a couple of fibers off here. And just take a couple fibers off. You wanna do is bring your thread behind the hook point. And you put it right there on top of the hook chain. You make sure you make it nice tight wraps. And I hope you guys learned something here, guys. Just bring your thread behind the head. 
and leave you thread there because I want to use my rotize bias here. All right. So what I'm doing right now is going back to to behind the head, making nice wraps there. Okay, make it one wrap, make another wrap. That should be enough there. Make a cross here. Just make one, two wraps, and another cross here. Two wraps. Just be carefully cut this off. Make sure you don't cut your thread off. And just put your fibers back with three fingers. And make it one, two wraps. And then again, one, two, two wraps. Switch the other side. And then just make two wraps. Secure that really well. Okay. And again, three fingers. One, two. All right. And make sure you bring the fibers back. Just take your wet finish here, guys. And finish this guy here. One, two, three, four, five. That should be plenty enough. Just make sure you tie that really well. Just cut your thread off here. And that's it. Just put some glue and just rotate your vise here. So the glue works around the thread there. Just put a lot of glue in there. Just put a little bit in the head. Why not? Doesn't hurt. There you go. You have a blue and white and blue chenille there in the body with a white head and uh, green and black eyes. This color in the spring is a killer color. I've been fishing that for a while. So pretty much kills a lot of crap is there from the spring. Looks really cool because this color, it can be a killer and clean water. All right, clean, clean water. All right, remember last video that I did, I mentioned to keep, start giving you guys uh, free jigs for the spring so you guys can try some of my jigs. It's free. It's, I'm not going to charge anything. It's free for you guys. So I choose the, to do the first person and I hope to get rich with this person here. And I want to show you in the camera which you want to get free jigs first. All right. So here it is. This is Richard Winter. This guy always make a comment into my my YouTube channel, so this is the first person. Just text me below my uh, channel there, and let's go for there. This is Richard Winter. This is the first guy that I want to keep free jigs for the spring. So please reach me, text me, and, uh, and go for there, okay? So every video that I make, I want to choose who, who wants the free jigs, and I choose whatever guy who wants that, just to try my jigs for the spring. I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. I want to say thank you for likes the video, to share the videos. You can check me in, in TikTok. You can reach me there. I post a couple of videos there. This is the jig. Uh, this is the jig is going to go for the person, Richard Winters. So he's going to have this jig, beautiful crappy jig here. I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. Don't forget the thumbs up. More comments, more likes, share my page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.